ladies and gentlemen, this is Vet Loyal to the Pain. No tricks, no gimmicks. 100% pure vocals. Loyal to the pain. I want loyal to the pain. Loyal to the pain. Loyal to the pain. I want loyal to the pain. Uh, my name is Elijah John. My name is Terry of Genitis, and uh, we're both professional beatboxers. And we're known as Loyal to the Beat, and together we have about over 15 years of beatbox experience. Uh, individually, we've both been beatboxing for around eight, eight years each. Eight, yeah, eight to ten years. Together? Yeah. About a year? Together for about, yeah, just over a year now. So um, I met Terry uh, when beatbox he was competition. in a beatboxing competition, and I was a judge, and then we caught up uh, a couple of months after. And what actually happened was we just formed this group, which is called now called Loyal to the Beat. Uh, we're showcasing beatboxing. Uh, mainly just beatboxing, uh, just showing you what the human vocals can do, uh, vocal percussion, uh, musicality, vocalism. All, all genres, everything. We're doing some uh, a lot of original pieces. Some we are performing off our inspirations, two of the songs tonight, but most of it are our original pieces. Most of it's our own sort of style. Um, I mainly um, specialise in uh, drum and bass and beat patterns. He's very good with the sound effects. And vocalism and musicality. But we're adding in a bit of everything, uh, including covers, um, you know, crowd favourites, just to get the crowds going. Yeah, that's all, that always gets the crowds going. When but you we add, our own, song we add our own flavour to it and own um, style to it. Definitely. So. What interests us, or myself, about beatboxing is the vocals, the sound effects, uh, performing on stage and actually seeing people with their amazement when they're just like, wow, how is that actually coming out of uh, this guy's mouth, you know what I mean? Yeah. I love to entertain people and I just find, it, I just find beatboxing um, pretty amazing and just, it's just amazing what the human voice can do and how far you can take it. Definitely. I got my inspirations back in 04 um, from a beatboxer named Razel and uh, from there it got me looking at other beatboxers which led to Faith SFX and of course Michael Winslow which highly inspired me for the sound effects. Um, for me, pretty much um, Razel as well, he's you know a figure for all beatboxers and Joel Turner as well when he performed on Australian, Australian Idol at the final show he um, just came out with this amazing performance and the crowd just loved it and that sort of just sparked me, I'm like well this is what I want to do and I went online and started teaching myself and here we are, 10 years later. <laughs> Creating individual pieces takes a lot of work because um, beatboxing isn't just, you know, you just make up beats and they come out of your mouth. You actually... You have to listen. You, you have to listen. You have to feel it. You know, you have to know what's what's right for you. You could easily go online and copy another beatboxer's covers or beats, but to be a real beatboxer, I think you have to feel the music and yeah. be original. I'd probably sit down in three or four hours a time each week and come up with a, my own my own feel with a, my own flavour. Listen to my inspirations and just you know walking down the street every day, you know listening to trains, listening to mechanical movements, and I just uh, impersonate those sounds. That's that's what that's what helps me a lot. I find that I get a lot of my new sounds and experimenting in the shower just because it's like a small <laughs> closed environment and or, or in the toilet. <laughs> and sounds just bouncing off the walls. Yeah, the there, acoustics it's, are always amazing. We both entered various competitions, we've both performed at many music festivals, we've performed at nightclubs, bars, we've, live radio, yeah, we run also um, a company called Beatbox Australia, so we interact with uh, beatboxers from all over Australia and international. I run as well Beatbox Australia and I organise a lot of um, jams, uh, open mics, um, get togethers at you know bars and clubs around just the local suburbs just to get all, just to get everyone involved and get them a bit of experience and exposure. I don't think we've ever heard any negative feedback, except for one time when we were busking in front of Krispy Kremes, we had a track on repeat when we were beatboxing, we got told <laughs> off about that. But um, a lot of people are uh, mind blown, like at the end of the show, they'll either cheer yeah. or they'll be silent, not for a bad reason, just for the sake of they can't believe what actually came out of our mouths. Just because they're gobsmacked and just, they just want to listen. And yes. Or, or other people would come up to us and they'd want to learn how to do it. Yeah. A lot of travelling, I guess. We wanted to travel and share our music around the world, um, interact with other beatboxers and, and share beatboxing. This year we're going to hopefully go on a show that's got talent. And, Trying to. Yeah, so um, hopefully that takes off. So yeah, please have our votes. Um, Little to the beat. Um, uh, in the past we've done a lot of battling, so I think I just like to travel the world and entertain and just um, teach a few people. I'd like to do a bit of teaching yeah. as well, so that'd be great to do. You can find more information on Facebook, uh, Dr. Sound Effects. And Spillage Beatbox. 
And also Beatbox Australia, definitely Beatbox Australia on Facebook. Uh, <laughs> another place that you guys, like you can find us is busking on Burke Street um, or Swanson, on Street. Swanson Street. So yeah, we pack out crowds. Uh, there was one time when we were uh, beatboxing and busking that we stopped the crowd and it had to get broken up by the police and then the police actually ran a siren. So we had a beatbox battle with the um, cops, <laughs> the cops <laughs> while they were just playing the sirens and we'll be boxing it back at him, so... Yeah, and they'll join in, so all fun and games. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this is Loyal to the B. Mm-hmm. <laughs>